Today we're looking at how do we do a one world essay for MYP. What we find is this is one of the hardest things to do when we start. People try a lot and make a lot of mistakes. Once you understand one world essays, they're a lot simpler than they first look. There are basically five things that you need to do to have a good one world essay. The first section you have to, for your chosen topic, talk about the science involved. This could be why it works, how it works, how we use science to do what we need to do. It really depends on your topic. The second thing you have to do is to talk about the advantages of the science involved, the advantages of what you are talking about. By advantages, the good points. Why do we do it? What are the benefits? We do this for these reasons. This is why it's good. The third area you need to talk about are the problems, the limitations. You need to then say, well, the problems with this are, it might be cost, it might be the environment, but you need to have specific problems to talk about. If you can't talk about problems, you haven't chosen a good topic. You need to do all of this to get a good grade. The next thing you have to do is to give an evaluation. What? Give your opinion. Based on the advantages you've researched, the limitations or problems you've researched, this is where it's different to a knowledge and understanding test. You're telling me what you think based on your research. The last section is where we have to relate it to the world. Now, what do we mean related to the world? It's a pretty good question. If we look at grading theory for a typical task, your MYP give you these different criteria and say these are the things you must be able to relate it to and you have to relate it to at least two of these areas to get a top grade. And finally, why the square boxes? This is my tick box. If you can tick off each section as you go and you get five ticks, then you've done a good job of a one world essay. Here is an example of a one world essay. Choose an example of where we use acids and alkalis in real life. I've decided for this essay, I will write about using vinegar to preserve food. Okay, I've made an example. Now I need to talk about the science idea involved. Vinegar makes the vegetables acidic, so bacteria cannot grow there. This means the vegetables last for years. There we go. Science idea. Too simple, of course, but the idea is there. The next thing I have to write about is the good features of this. The benefit of this is that the vegetables last for years. It's a pretty good thing. Now the bad points. They always have a vinegar taste. Hmm. We cannot preserve my favorite fruit, strawberries, because they would taste real bad. Strawberries and vinegar? I think not. Good points, bad points. My opinion. I think this is a great idea as long as we choose the right vegetables, the ones where vinegar taste is not so bad. An opinion, a spelling fix. Lastly, the hardest bit where we have to relate it to the world. Now if we have a look at the MYP grading criteria, we see they're talking about relate it to at least two of these, social, economic. How do you relate vinegar to that? What I would be writing for this example this relates to the economy because poor people or people who live where there is a short growing season can get the vegetables when they can and then preserve them to have food all year. If you live in India, it only rains for two months. You can grow your vegetables then, preserve them for the whole year. I've only related to one area. The second one, this also relates to the environment because it is non-polluting and these people eat food from their 
local region so there is not lots of transport with its pollution involved okay now that's ridiculously simple essay but i've talked about the science the good the bad i've given my opinion and related it to two areas from the list that we're given you of course would do a much more complex essay with more depth but this is what is required so hopefully that helps us to get started and finally yes i do have the flu today that's why i sound like a frog